Types of Snowboard Binding Snowboard bindings are what connect your boots to the snowboards. It can seem complicated to choose the best one, as there are some variations involved. It mostly depends on your skill level, compatibility, and style. So, let's get started. Number 1. Strap-in bindings. Strap-in bindings are the most common type. They have two straps, one for the ankle and another for the toes. This is great when you need to adjust the pressure on each one separately. Getting in and out of strap-in bindings is rather slow, and you'll usually have to sit down. You have to undo the two straps and redo them each time. Some people can get in and out of a strap-in binding while standing up, but this takes practice. If you're a free rider, it can be really tricky to enter and exit the bindings while standing up on a slope, so a strap-in binding is better here. Number 2. Rear Entry Bindings Rear entry, or speed entry, bindings are less common than strap-in, but they're still a popular option. They have one strap that's divided across the ankle and the toes, so there's less room to adjust the pressure on each one separately. Some rear entry bindings have two independent straps to fix this problem, but they aren't the standard. Unlike strap-in bindings, rear entry bindings have unlockable high backs that let your feet slide through. This allows for easy entry and exiting while standing up, and you wouldn't need to adjust the strap more than once. Number 3. Burton Channel System. Burton invented an all-new way to fasten bindings to a board, and it boasts a few benefits over the discs and bolts methods above. There's a pair of reinforced slots in the center line of the board. If you use Burton's own EST bindings you have no disc under your foot, two small screws clamp down on the outside of your bindings into the metal fasteners in the snowboard slot. If you use Burton Reflex bindings or most other snowboard bindings, you can mount to a Burton channel board, but using the plate under your foot. Most bindings can be bought with a special base plate that's compatible with Burton channel, but take care because some don't and others sell it separately. We can't tell you which system to go for, in fact we can tell you that you'll be fine with any system as long as your bindings properly match the system used on the board and you've got a board, bindings, and boots that suits your ability and style. 